Hello and welcome to CBSC Class 11 SWS course. Today we will be looking at this rather long play which is part of the Snapshots textbook, the supplementary reader for CBSC Class 11. This is called Mother's Day, written by J.B. Priestley. And this, I think, holds true for many of us. Let's be honest about it. Let's look at ourselves in the mirror and see whether we are able to relate to some character in this particular play or not. So in that sense, it is a rather sharp kind of commentary on the kind of treatment that we give as far as our mothers are concerned, right? So let's get started. Let's be honest. Okay. Mother's Day written by J.B. Priestley. What is the play about? The play is basically a satirical and a humorous depiction on the status of women, especially the mother uh, in a particular family. How despite the homemaker, I don't like to use the word housewife, right? How the homemaker, despite her dedicating all her life and time to the family, the family's interests, the family's concerns, the family takes her for granted. You know, there is never any sense of gratitude. There is any, never any sense of thanksgiving. It neither acknowledged nor even cares for the mother, right? Many of us over a period of time have been guilty of it. Let's be honest. Let's confess to that, right? So who are the characters? There is Mrs. Annie Pearson, who is the main character of this particular story. George Pearson, who is her husband. Doris Pearson, who is her daughter. Cyril Pearson, who is her son. And Mrs. Fitzgerald, who is the neighbor, right? The action takes place in the living room of the Pearson's house in a London suburb. Suburb is essentially a place which is on the outskirts of a city. In this case, the suburb of London, right? Now, uh, do you want me to tell you the story beforehand? Before we get to the story, I'll just tell you the summary in five points. Okay, uh, basically... Mrs. Pearson is a timid kind of a person. She's not a dominating, aggressive kind of a personality, right? And therefore, her husband and her two children basically ride roughshod over her. Okay. Her neighbor is Mrs. Fitzgerald, who suggests that let's change personalities. Mirko magic personality change. You will become me, I will become you for a few hours. I will teach them a lesson. Being Mrs. Pearson. And then we can get back to our original bodies. She agrees a little reluctantly. And now Mrs. Pearson is Mrs. Fitzgerald. And Mrs. Fitzgerald becomes Mrs. Pearson. So Mrs. Pearson, the new Mrs. Pearson, is now sitting idle. She's smoking because Mrs. it's the Mrs. Fitzgerald ka personality in her, right? Uh, Doris comes, says that Mera kapde ayan karo. she gives it back. So in that sense, they get very shocked at this new transformation of the mother, not the mother that they are used to. So Mr. Pearson also is very surprised to see his wife drinking and smoking and objects and she scolds him. She reprimands him, telling him that if he can drink, so can she. And uh, she tells him that he's spending his time with people who actually make fun of him behind his back. So then the Miss, real Mrs. Pearson wants Mrs. Fitzgerald to come back to the original self, stop all this because my family is very harshly treated. Okay, but uh, she, Miss, Mrs. Fitzgerald says that till you say that you will, you know, this lesson has to be taught to your family that they need to acknowledge you, they need to be grateful to you, they need to respect you and then they change the personalities again, they switch the personalities again. This is the broad framework of the play. Many sorry word meanings likhe hue hai, important word meanings, jo bhi aapko difficult lag sakte hai, right? And then of course there are the question and answers. So let's go through it. The living room of the Pearson family is where the uh, action takes place. The drawing room, living room that you are familiar with, right? It's a time of the afternoon. It's a comfortably furnished, much lived in room in a small suburban semi-detached villa. If necessary, only one door need to be used. But it's better with two, one up left leading to the front door and the stairs. And that so basically for a drama property ke liye pura description diya hua hai ki sets kis tarah se hone chahiye. City ka matlab hai, it's like a sofa. There is an armchair and a small table with two chairs. So basically giving you a sense of ki stage pe kis tarah ki setting hogi. Okay. 
When the curtain rises, it's an afternoon in early autumn and the stage can be well lit. Again, see, can be well lit. It's almost like the director, the writer is giving the instructions to the director of the play, right? And then he has described the two women, Mrs. P uh, Pearson and Mr. Mrs. Fitzgerald. Mrs. P Pearson, or ye aapko yaad rakhna padega, is a pleasant but worried looking woman in her 40s. So she's in her 40s. Mrs. Fitzgerald is older than her. She's heavier, uh, okay, and a strong and sinister personality. What's the meaning of sinister? Sinister means someone who is a little menacing, right? Sharp kind of personality. She's smoking. Uh, and again, he has given instructions that both of them should speak very differently. Suburban um, uh, in a light, flurried kind of thing. Flurried means nervous and a little confused. Okay. And suburban cockney means cockney means it's a style of speaking in the east end of London, in the eastern suburbs of London. Irish means someone who has lived in Ireland. So you pick up a bit of an Irish accent. Okay. Well, and that's all I can tell you, Mrs. Pearson. Could be a good fortune, could be a bad one. All depends on yourself now. Make up your mind. And there it is. So she has spoken about something when the play has already started. Okay. And we will come to know about what she has spoken about. Right. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. I'm much obliged. Obliged means I'm grateful, thankful. I'm sure it's wonderful having a real fortune teller living next door. Did you learn that out east too? Fortune teller means she knows about how to predict the future. She knows a bit about that kind of a magic. Out East means when she was there in the British colonies in Asia. So maybe she may have served in India or she may have lived in India. We'll come to know about what they are talking about next. So these are the two women whose drawing has been made. I did 12 years I had of it with my old man rising to be Lieutenant Quartermaster. Now Quartermaster is a non-commissioned officer in the British Army. So he was serving there. So she was with her husband out there. He learnt a lot and I learnt a lot more. But will you make up your mind now Mrs. Pearson dear. Put your foot down once and for all and be the mistress of your own house and the boss of your own family. Mistress as in the feminine form of master being the woman of the, with the authority, the lady of the house, put your foot down being means that be strict and stern. So again, you know, we don't know about what are the details. So she's basically saying that you need to be strict out there, smiling apologetically. So see a bit of the character of Mrs. Annie Pearson coming out. That's easier said than done. Besides, I'm so fond of them, even if they are so thoughtless and selfish. Please mark these words. This is how she's describing her family members this is what she thinks of her husband and her children they don't mean to be that they don't want to be thoughtless and selfish but oh hey see okay they are uh, like that and that's what she is talking about maybe not but it would be better for them if they learn to treat you properly cutting in so she is not having patience with having to listen to mrs annie pearson defending her children Yes, I suppose it would in a way. I suppose, no doubt about it at all. Who is the better for being spoiled? Grown man, lad or girl? Nobody. Saying that none of them are any good, right? None of them is any good. You think it does them good when you run after them all the time? Right? Um, take their orders as if you were the servant in the house. Stay at home every night while they are out enjoying themselves. Never in all your life. So she says, it's no good. You keep running behind them. You do all their errands and all their work, right? While they're enjoying themselves, right? It's the ruin of them as well as you. So you're not helping them. That's what she says. You think it does them good? She means to say that it does not do them good. You are neither helping them nor are you helping yourself, Right? So she says, it's the ruin of them. Unko tum barbaad kar rahi ho by doing all this work for them 24 by 7. Husbands, sons, daughters should be taking notice of wives and mothers, not giving them orders and treating them like dirt. This is an important sentence. Not giving them orders and treating them like dirt. And don't tell me you don't know what I mean, for I know more than you have told me. So... She obviously knows a lot about the Pearson family. So she says, Mujhe sab malum hai. Mujhe sab malum hai. Jis tarah se wo tumko uh, treat karte hai. Okay. Now she is 
dubiously means in a very unsure kind of tone tone uh, i keep dropping a hint you know ki beta mere ko is tarah se treat mat karo so she says that i keep trying to tell them that this is not the way i should be treated by doris cyril and george pearson hint it's more than hints your family needs mrs pearson so she says hint se kaam nahi chalega unko saaf batana padega again dubiously i suppose it is but i do hate any unpleasantness so mrs pearson ka personality ye hai she does not like unpleasantness and it's so hard to know where to start i keep making up my mind to have it out with them but somehow i don't know how to begin so she is very unsure she doesn't kind of get into any kind of confrontation kind of situations oh good gracious good gracious means exclamation you know look at the time nothing ready and they'll be home any minute and probably all in a hurry to go out again so look at the life so she's now feeling nervous feeling tense that are baap re bengali mein bolte na udi baba you know wo sab wapas aa jayenge and there is nothing ready and they will all kind of you know get very agitated about it and because they will all have to go out again she will always be at home doing all their errands while they will come and go almost like visitors right so uh that's what she says and as she's about to rise mrs fiskerdel reaches her across the table and pulls her down betho let them wait or look after themselves for once this is where your foot goes down so basically saying that put your foot down you know nahi hoga start now she lights a cigarette from the one that she has just finished mrs pearson is embarrassed mrs fiskerdel i know you mean well ki mujhe maloom hai tum mera bhala chahte ho i know you want good for me in fact i agree with you but i just can't i just can't and it's no use you trying to make me if i promise you i would really have it out with them i know i wouldn't be able to keep my promise that you know if i promise you that i would have it talk to them i know mujhe malum hai mujhse nahi ho payega so mrs fitz girl says then let me do it outsource it to me i will do it for you Mrs Pearson is flustered what does flustered mean she gets agitated because she knows the consequences that they will not like it and that's what she says oh no thank you very much mrs fitzgerald but that wouldn't do at all it couldn't possibly be somebody else you know agar bahar ka koi person comes and tells my children that you know you have to treat your mother well they will not like it they will not be amused at all they wouldn't listen they would resent it at once resent matlab they will not like it they would not like this kind of interference by an outsider to the family and i know i ought to do it mujhe malum hai mujhe hi karna padega but you see how it is she looks apologetically across see mrs pearson knows her state but she does not have the courage to summon the courage to say it openly you haven't got the idea mrs fitzgerald says tumko pata nahi hai ek mere dimag mein kya khichdi pak rahi hai oh i'm sorry i thought you asked me to let you do it she says oh, but that's what i thought you know that i should let you do it i did but not as me as you she says yes i will say it but not as mrs fitzgerald i will say it as mrs annie pearson so mrs pearson i don't understand you couldn't be me mrs fitzgerald says we change places or really the bodies we will exchange our bodies you look like me i look like you but that's impossible how do you know ever tried it no of course not i have not for some time but it still ought to work won't last long but long enough to do what we want to do learnt it out is ki main wahan pe asia mein seekhi thi of course where they are up to all these tricks okay so she says i learnt it when i was in asia well i don't know is it right it's your only chance give me your hands and keep quiet a minute just don't think about anything okay and then she Recites this mantra: Arshatata dam, Arshatata lam, Arshatata lam dam bona. Okay, so they do this. They exchange the bodies, and then he has given the instructions again. So Mrs. Pearson is now bold and dominating, and Mrs. Fitzgerald is nervous and fluttering. Why? If you have just this line, I and ask you are asked why, would you be able to explain? why is mrs pearson bold and dominating now and mrs fitzgerald nervous and uh, fluttering you should be able to explain that because they have exchanged their bodies as a result of this magic that she has learned when she was in the out east in the british colonies in asia now they have changed mrs fitzgerald says oh it happened 
Mrs. Pearson, complacent, complacently means in a relaxed and a satisfied kind of a tone. Uh, of course, it has happened very neat. Didn't know I had it in me. But whatever shall I do, Mrs. Fitzgerald, George and the children can't see me like this, right? Uh, they aren't going to. That's the point. They will have me to deal with. Only they won't know it. Okay. So that's how Mrs. Pearson speaks. Mrs. Fitzgerald still around. But what if we can't change back? It would be terrible. So the original Mrs. Pearson, who is now Mrs. Fitzgerald, is very confused. What would agar hum bapis nahi aapai to kya hoga, Baba? So comedy ho jayega. Then here, steady Mrs. Pearson. If you had to live in my my life, it wouldn't be so bad. You would have more fun as me. Agar, she says, agar nahi bhi hua koi problem nahi hai, meri zindagi, tumhari zindagi se better hai. Mrs. Fitzgerald says. Mrs. Fitzgerald, but I don't want to be anybody else. Mrs. Pearson says, don't worry. It's easier changing back. My wapis change kar dungi. Okay. To wo ho gaya. Not likely. I've got to deal with your family first. That's the idea, isn't it? Don't know where how to begin uh, with them. As you said, well, I will show you. Mrs. Fitzgerald, but what am I going to do? She says, going to my house for a bit. There's nobody there. Then pop back and see how we are doing. Okay, you ought to enjoy it. Better get off now before any one of them comes, before Doris or Cyril comes. So she goes off. Okay, and then Doris Pearson comes in. She's in her early 20s. Okay, uh, mom, you will have to iron my yellow silk. I must wear it tonight, right? What are you doing? And... Mrs. Pearson now uses her ordinary voice. That is like the original Mrs. Pearson, right? But instead of being apologetic or nervous, she's now sharp, incisive. Mrs. Pearson, Doris ko dekhti bhi hai. What do you think I'm doing? Whitewashing the ceiling. Now, Miss, the original Mrs. Pearson would never reply like that. So, Doris is astounded. Astounded means shocked. But you are smoking. So she is shocked both at what she's seeing and what she's hearing or what she has just heard. That's right, dear. No law against it. Is it? Is it there? Uh, but I thought you did not smoke. Then you thought wrong. Are we having tea in the kitchen? Have it where you like, dear. Do you mean it isn't ready? Yours isn't. I have had all I want. I have made Chinese I I might go out later and get a square meal at the Clarendon. Now, Clarendon is the name of a local restaurant. Square meal means a full and satisfying meal. Who might? I might. So, there is a sense of shock and surprise that the mother is saying that she will go out and go to Clarendon and eat a full square meal. Khayegi. What's the matter with you, mom? Don't be silly. It's not me who is being silly. And I must say it's a bit much when I've been working all day and you can't even bother to get my tea ready. So Doris bolti hai ki main pura din kaam kar rahi hoon aur tum mere liye chai bhi nahi bina sakti without thinking about the fact that her mother also works all the time at home. That's a problem with most of us that we take our mothers for granted. We think mothers ghar pe bed ke kuch kaam nahi karti hai. How does the whole family and the household work? We never think about it. How do the bed sheets remain clean? How does the cupboard remain clean? How does my study table remain clean? The mother does when you are out at school. Right? Right? So that is a realization all of us need to have. Right? Did you hear what I said about my yellow silk? So she's demanding ki, okay, chai nahi banai, mera yellow silk ke baare mein mene jo bola, usko istri karni hai, wo to kar rahe ho na? No, don't you like it now? I never did. Of, um, uh, Doris, of course I like it. And I'm going to wear it tonight. I, I So I wanted iron. Ki mujhe pasan nahi tha, but Doris says, but I like it, so I'm going to wear it tonight. So I wanted iron. Wanted iron? What do you think it's going to do? Iron itself? No, you are going to iron it yourself. You always do. Tum karti thi, to aaj mana kar rahi ho. Well, this time I don't. Main aaj nahi karne wali isko iron. And don't talk rubbish about me, about you working hard. I have a good idea how much you do, Doris Pearson. I put in twice the number of hours you do and get no wages nor thanks for it. Nor do I get, neither do I get paid, nor do I get any thanks for it. Why are you going to wear your yellow silk? Where are you going? Out with Charlie Spence. Why? Why, why? What's the matter with you? Why shouldn't I go with Charlie Spence? If you ask me and I want to, he's her boyfriend. Any objections? Go on. You might as well tell me. So she says, can't you find anyone better? I wouldn't be seen dead. Kyo itna ganda hai with his buck teeth and half witted. Half witted means a bit of a stupid kind of a person. Buck teeth means when the upper set of teeth is kind of protruding out. 
he isn't when i was your age i would have found somebody better than charlie spence or given up given myself up as a bad job ki main itni gai guzri hu ki mereko charlie spence se behtar koi nahi mil sakta i would have thought like that or i would have got someone better than charlie spence ki wo itna bekar aur stupid hai doris is in tears right now cyril pearson the son enters hello mom tea ready no why not i couldn't bother feeling off color or something tabiyat kharab hai kya never felt better in my life i couldn't have been better i'm feeling fantastic aggressively what's a what's the idea then just a change well snap out of it ma and get cracking haven't too much time Bol, bolta hai ki get back to your this thing mere paas time nahi hai ye bakwas sunne ke liye you know he's being rude mrs pearson mere paas so time hai well i haven't got a busy night tonight did you put my things out can't remember but i doubted mujhe nahi lagta maine kiya hai so now look when i asked you this morning you promised you said that you would look through them first in case there was any mending ki kuch theek work karna ho maybe uske apne kapde ki baat kar raha hai well i have decided i don't like mending that's a nice way to talk what would happen if we all talk like that now you realize that he's saying agar hum sab is tarah se baat karte to kaisa lagta hai he is not realizing that bevkuf tum aise hi baat karte ho tum aise hi baat karte ho bandhu but tumko wo realization hua hi nahi hai ki apni maa se is tarah se baat nahi karte hain you all talk like that she says beta tum hamesha aise hi baat karte ho if there is something at home you don't want to do this is an important uh, passage i have written a question and answer about it if it is something at your work if if it's something at home you don't want to do you don't do it if it is something you don't want to do at your workplace you get the union union matlab union bazi association to bar it that is to stop it The, now all that has happened is that I have joined the movement. कि मैं भी अभी movement में आ गई हूँ. मैंने भी ये decide कर लिया है कि ये काम तो मैं नहीं करूँगी. Staggered means he's a little surprised and he's a little fumbles. I don't get this, mom. What's going on? ये हो क्या रहा है? हाँ. Laconic and sinister. Laconic means briefly and sinister. मैंने बोला. You know, a little menacing. Uh, then Doris enters. Mrs. Pearson looks at Doris and says, "You look terrible." I wouldn't wear that face even for Charlie Spence. Even for Charlie Spence, I won't wear it. Oh, shut up about Charlie Spence. And anyhow, I'm not ready yet. Just dressing. And if I do look terrible, it's your fault. You made me cry. You made me cry. You made me cry. Why? What did she do? Cyril asked. Never you mind. Have we any stout left? Stout is beer. I can't remember. Mrs. Pearson is asking for beer. Cyril says bottle or two, I think. But you don't want stout now because he's not used to seeing his mother drink. I do. What for? To drink. You clot. Clot means an idiot. Okay. Uh, has she been uh, now? Mrs. Pearson exists. So Cyril and Doris are the two people on stage. So has she been like that with you two? Uh, no. Yes. No tea ready. Couldn't care less. Well, I'm glad it's both of us. I thought I had done something wrong. So Doris says, "Mujhe lagta hai ki me, mujhe laga ki mere se koi galti hogi. Isse ye wo mere se itne sharply baat kar rahi hai. But now I realize she's being the same with both of us. So did I. But it's her, of course. So they, so they conclude ki galti hamari nahi hai. Galti maa ki hai. Galti hamari nahi hai. Galti maa ki hai. I asked her if she was feeling off color, and she said she wasn't. Right? And Doris says she was playing cards and smoking. well she has suddenly very different and that's all made me cry it wasn't what she said but the way she said it and the way she looked so doris is being very uh, sharp that she made me cry because of the way she spoke okay the way she said it and the way she looked have a notice that she looks just the same to me she doesn't to me do you think she could have hit her head you know kahin pe usne apna sar laga liya ho jiski wajah se kuch प्रॉब्लम हो गया हो जिसकी वजह से उसका पूरा नो टंग 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 कुछ अलग हो गया हो ओके सो डू यू थिंक शी इज बामी बामी मींस गॉन इनसेन क्रेजी नो यू फैट हेड यू नो कंकशन कंकशन जैसे ऑस्ट्रेलियन क्रिकेटर को हुआ था बॉल लग गई थी कंकशन हो गया था दैट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड ए कंकशन ए सीरियस इंजरी टू द हेड राइट शी माइट हैव साउंड फारफेच फारफेच मतलब इम्पॉसिबल Uh, well she is far fetched if you ask me uh, then what is it if she is going to be like this when dad comes home so they are feeling amused ki jab george pearson daddy wapas aayenge aur isi tarah se baat karegi tab kya hoga i am staying uh, in for that to front uh, dress circles for the first house that is mereko wo show dekhne ka hai you know they try to make a joke of it coldly you two are always talking about being grown up why don't you being both try to be once your age hamesha bolte ho bade ho gaye ho why don't you try to be uh, your age uh and then she sits on the sofa the city can't we laugh now yes if it is funny 
गो ऑन टेल मी मेक मी लाफ आई कुड डू विद मेरे को भी चुटकला सुनाओ मैं भी हंसती हूँ यू नो यू विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड आर जो सो डॉट इज इज बींग क्वाइट शार्प मिसिस पियर्सन आई वॉज यॉनिंग एट योर जोक्स बिफोर योर वर बॉन्ड डॉट इज सो यू नो शी ऑल्सो इंसल्स हर बैक यू नो कि तुम्हारे बस की बात नहीं है जोक सुनाना what is making you talk like this what have we done nothing but come in ask you something go out again then come back when there is nowhere else to go you know so mrs pearson also ulta sidha round about jawab deti hai look if you don't get tea ready then i will find something to eat myself why not help yourself sir karo enjoy yourself so uh, mind you i think it's a bit thick i have been working all day so Uh, he is is not able to understand what's really going on why is his mother behaving in this rather awkward kind of manner same here eight hour day yes eight hour day so working all day means she says so sarcastically she says art ghante ka kaam whereas she works much more in at home which they don't seem to acknowledge or even register i have done my eight hours so she says maine art ghanta kaam kar liya hai cyril says that's different cyril says that's different Doris says, "Of course, it is important." Calmly, it was. These three lines are important. Cyril, Doris, Mrs. Pearson. It was. Now it isn't. Forty hour week for all now. That is eight hours into five day week. Saturday, Sunday, chutti. Now just watch it at the weekend when I have my two days off. So she says, "Eight ghante har roj ka five din, forty ghanta mein kam karungi. Saturday, Sunday, chutti." Doris and Cyril are shocked. Cyril says, "Must grab something to it. Looks like I'll have to keep my strength up. You know, इसके साथ deal करने के लिए थोड़ी अभी ताकत की जरूरत पड़ेगी." Mummy, you don't mean you are not going to do anything on Saturday and Sunday? Doris is shocked. There is a sense of presumption. अरे कैसे नहीं कर सकते? And I'm sure many of you would have also said the same to your mother. You know, मेरा uniform iron नहीं किया क्या? कौन करेगा iron? Kind of a demanding and A tone that assumes that mummy will do it. Yes or no? Confess. Chat box. Be likhe batana. No, I wouldn't go that far. I might make a bed or two or do a bit of cooking as a favor. Ehsan kar sakti hu. I might do you a favor, which means, of course, I will have to be asked very nicely. This is an important passage. and thanked for everything and generally made a fuss are mummy aapne mera kapda is tarike ka diya thank you so much wo bologe is tarah se then i might do it as a favor but any of you 40 are a weakers who expect to be waited on hand waited means ki main tumko serve karte rahunge table pe tumhare liye sab kaam karungi and waited on hand and foot on saturday and sunday with no thanks for it or in for a nasty disappointment ye abhi se nahi hoga wo sab ho gaya khatam tata bye bye i might even go out for the weekend perhaps go off for the weekend why not i could go with the change stuck here day after day week after week if i don't need a change who does but there but where would you go kahan jaoge they are very surprised that she is even thinking or contemplating ki wo bahar ja sakti hai okay the only difference is that i am a lot older and better able to look after myself so it's you should be do the asking right did you fall or hit yourself with something ki kahin pe chot lagi kya right so because they are shocked ki kahan jaoge kiske sath jaoge right uh, mrs pearson says no but i will hit you with something girl if you don't stop asking silly questions sharply dia acha masala This is awful, and she starts crying. Start blubbering means talking randomly nonsense. You're not a baby. If you're old enough to go out with Charlie Spence, ये Charlie Spence के को बहुत बदनाम कर दिया. You're old enough to behave properly. Now stop it. Okay, I actually like this play. Uh, now बाप आता है. Daddy जी वापस आते हैं घर को. Okay, he's self-important and pompous. Okay, pompous means you know a sense of self-important. You know कि मैं ये हूँ करके. Hello, what's this? Can't be anything to cry about, and he sees that Doris is crying. Betty is crying. Okay, Daddy G ko Betty se pyar hai. George says, "Did you say you will see?" So Doris says, "You will see." Yes. What did she mean? Mrs. Pearson says, "Pucho usi se pucho." Why did she say you will see? Stout. So uh, George says, "Stout." 
मिसिस पियर्सन से यस वट आर यू ड्रिंकिंग स्टॉट फॉर तुम स्टॉट क्यों पी रहे हो बिकॉज आई फैंसी सम बिकॉज आई लाइक टू ड्रिंक एट दिस टाइम ऑफ द डे यस वॉट स्ट्रॉन्ग विद एट दिस टाइम ऑफ द डे Bewildered, मतलब surprise. Nothing, I suppose, Annie, but I've never seen you do it before. Okay, so logical लगता है. पहले कभी देखा नहीं पीते हुए तो इसे little surprise कि तुम पी रही हो और वो भी इस time of the day. Well, you are seeing me now, and I don't like it. It doesn't look right. I'm surprised it at you. Well, that ought to be a nice change for you. What do you mean? It must be some time since you were surprised at me. कि नो पहले कभी surprise नहीं हुए आज भी surprise हो रहे तो अच्छी बात है. I don't like surprises. I'm all for a steady going on. You know, जैसा चलता है चलते रहो उसमें कोई भी change बदलाव नहीं होना चाहिए. You ought to know that by this time. By the way, I forgot to tell you that this morning I wouldn't want any tea. Special snooker match at the club tonight, and a bit of supper going. So no tea. कि मुझे चाय नहीं चाहिए. मैं सुबह बताना भूल गया. That's all right. There isn't any. So she says, कोई बात नहीं. There isn't any in any case. You mean you didn't get anything ready? Now look at the stupidity of this daddy ji. Okay, he says uh, that's all very well, but suppose I wanted some. You mean you didn't prepare? She says no. So she says, but if I have to need it, then it's not necessary. But he wants to argue. So he says, if I have to need it, then. So uh, he says, my goodness, listen to the man. Annoyed because I don't get a tea for him that he does not even want. He says, he club pe kabi aisa try kiya hai kya? He says, "Tried what at the club?" He says, "Going to the bar and telling them you don't want a glass of beer, but you are annoyed because they have not already poured it for you." Okay, ये तो उनके साथ बताना and see what how they react. He says, "मुझे I don't know what you are talking about." He says, "They will laugh at you." So laugh at me? They don't laugh at me. She says, "Of course they do. You ought to have found out by this time. Anybody else would have done. You are one of their standing jokes. तुम्हारा मजाक उड़ाते हैं क्लब पर." they call you pompy ompy pearson because they think that you are too slow and pompous that you have the sense of self importance or dhakkan ho slow ho never it says hey, it's always beaten me why you would want to spend so much time at a place where they are always laughing at you behind your back and calling you names tumko is tarah ke naam se bulate hain leaving your wife at home night after night instead of going out with her who doesn't make you look like a fool The wife will treat you importantly, but उसको छोड़ के तुम क्लब पे जाते हो जहां पर तुम्हारे तुम्हारा मजाक उड़ाया जाता है ओके पीठ के पीछे बताना नहीं चाहिए था Sometimes it does people good to have their feelings hurt. कभी कभी सच बता के उनके feelings को hurt करना अच्छा होता है Mrs. Pearson बोलती है The truth ought not to hurt anybody for long. If your father did not go to the club so often, perhaps they would stop laughing. अगर रोज रोज नहीं जाता तो उसका मजाक कम उड़ाते Possibly you do. But what I doubt is whether your opinion is worth having. What do you know? Nothing. You spent too much time and good money at greyhound races and dirt tracks and ice shows so cyril ko bolti hai dirt tracks is the racing uh, for motorcycles greyhound is a dog breed it's a ferocious dog breed to uske dog races greyhounds in fact uh, andhra pradesh telangana mein jo anti naxalite commando force ko greyhounds ka naam diya gaya hai right it was named after this dog called greyhounds because they are a sharp ferocious breed of dogs uh well what if i do i've got to enjoy myself somehow haven't i mrs pearson i wouldn't mind so much if you were really enjoying yourself right but are you and where is it getting you you know you think you are enjoying yourself but are you really enjoying her, yourself so she asked that slightly philosophical question and uh cyril says it's that silly old bag from next door mrs fitzgerald you don't want her here do you now the the real mrs pearson has come back in the body of mrs fitzgerald and he refers to her as a silly old bag you know insulting kind of a phrase mrs pearson because uh, mrs pearson to actually mrs fitzgerald to usko acha nahi lagta ki uske bare mein is tarah se bola hai so she says certainly i do i want her here ask her in and don't call her a silly old bag either she's a very nice woman with a lot more sense than you will ever have to acha यॉर्कर मारती है उसको कम इन कम इन मिसिस फिट्स 
Mrs. Fitzgerald says, I just wondered if everything is all right. She's anxious because she's the original Mrs. Pearson. No, it isn't. Cyril says, Mrs. Pearson. Of course it is. Cyril says, Why should I be quiet? Because I tell you, you silly, spoiled, young PCN. PCN is a stupid person. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Check it out. Uh, oh, no, not surely because it's slang language, right? It's not original proper English. Now, Mrs. Fitzgerald, now just let me manage my family in my own way, please. Now, Mrs. Pearson is getting, tells Mrs. Fitzgerald, the original Mrs. Pearson, that let me manage my family. Mrs. Fitzgerald, yes, uh, but Cyril, Cyril says, Mr. Cyril Pearson to you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. And he walks out to the kitchen. Mrs. Fitzgerald whispering, oh dear, what's happening? Mrs. Pearson, nothing much, just putting them in their places. That's all. That Mrs. Pearson is actually Mrs. Fitzgerald. So, is baat ka dhyan rakna. Okay, doing, don't get confused. Doing what you like the children. Doing what you ought to have done long since. Mrs. Fitzgerald, is George home? Well, I've been telling him what they think of him at the club. Oh, they think a lot of him, don't they? No, they don't. And now he knows it. Oh dear, I wish you hadn't. So she's saying that, Are nahi batana chahiye tha. nonsense, doing them all a world of good. And they will be eating out of your hand soon. Eating out of your hand soon means ki wo tumhara kaha manenge. Jo tum bologi, un sabhi baaton ko wo manenge. They will listen to whatever they say. They will be obedient. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want them eating, eating out of my hand. Mujhe lagta ki mujhe wa well, whatever you want, they will be doing it. All three of them, mark my words. Mark my words means, meri baat, dhyan se suno, yehi hoga. George, he comes and looks at both the women. Just looked in for a moment, I suppose, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Uh, Mrs. Fitzgerald, who does Well, yes, I suppose so, George. Now, she's used to calling him by his name, George. George says, George? Mrs. Fitzgerald, oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Pearson, what does it matter? Your name is George, isn't it? Who do you think you are? Duke of Edinburgh? Duke of Edinburgh bolte, Edinburgh nahi bolte. Okay, so George bol diya to kya ho gaya? Tum koi Duke of Edinburgh thodi ho. George says, what has he got to do with it? Just tell me that. Isn't it bad enough Bad enough without her calling me George? No tea, Pompey Ompey Pearson and poor Doris has been crying her eyes out upstairs. Yes, crying her eyes out. You know, it's, enough, you know, it's almost like, you know, her eyes will come out because of all the crying. So, he's recounting all the different insults that she has given. That is, ye George bula, ye to hai. Se pehle ko Pompey Ompey Pearson bulate, ye pataya, um, upar beti um, ro rahi hai. Right? So, uh, that's all bad enough. Mrs. Fitzgerald, oh dear, I ought to have known. Uh, George says, you ought to have known? What? Why ought you have known? So he's getting confused. Uh, nothing to do with you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. We are all at sixes and sevens here just now. So perhaps you will excuse us. Means that please go. Sixes and sevens means there's total confusion. You know, we're all having a bit of a confusion and uh, a bit of a an argument kind of a position. Uh, well, I won't excuse you, Mrs. Pearson, George Pearson. Next time a friend and neighbor comes to see me, just say something when you see her, good evening or how do you do or something and don't just march in and sit down without a word. It's bad man. So she's giving it to her husband. Class lady. Uh, no, it is all right. No, it isn't all right. We will all have some decent manners in this house or I will know the reason. Well, George, well what? Why don't you get off to your club? Special night tonight, isn't it? They will be waiting for you, wanting to have them a good laugh. Go on then. Tum club jao taki wo tumhara mazak uda sake. Okay, so you go there. So she says that, you know, tum ja ke uh, jao. So George, she's basically taunting him. So George says very bitterly, that's right. Make me look silly in iske Mrs. Fitzgerald ke saamne mera tum mazak banao to make me look like a fool. Um, poor Doris, go on, don't mind me. Sixes and sevens. Poor Doris has been crying her eyes out. So he's just repeating that. Getting the neighbors to see the one. Padosiyon ko bula ke, the, you are making, allowing them to see all this. Have you gone balmy? Have you gone insane? If you shout at me again like that, George Pearson, I will slap your big fat silly face. So she's being very insulting. Personally insulting the way he looks. Mrs. Fitzgerald. Oh, no, 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 please, Mrs. Fitzgerald. So she's now kind of, and she calls her Mrs. Fitzgerald. So George is very confused. Either I'm off my chump or you too. Okay, you know, either I am not understanding uh, what's happening? Chump is a uh, easily deceived person. Someone who can be easily deceived. Okay. 
uh, or you two are. How do you mean? No, no, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Look, you are Mrs. Fitzgerald. Why are you telling herself to yourself to stop when you are not uh, saying anything? Tell her to stop. Then there will be some sense in it. I think you must be tiddly. Tiddly means someone who is slightly drunk. Um, so she he doesn't understand this whole confusion. Mrs. Fitzgerald, hello, Doris dear. When Doris enters. Hello, Mrs. Fitzgerald. I thought you were going out with Charlie Spence tonight. What has that got to do? Because she's thinking. She doesn't know that Mrs. Fitz, the original Mrs. Fitzgerald dressed in the body of Mrs. Pearson has insulted Charlie Pence quite, Spence quite badly. Uh, no, it isn't all right. I won't have a daughter of mine talking to anybody like that. Now answer Mrs. Fitzgerald properly, Doris, or go upstairs again. Don't look at me. I give it up. I just give it up. So George says, I say control not control Baba. Okay, as today to ye pure form mein hai. I was going out with Charlie Spence, but now I've called it off. So now we're date cancel ho gay. Okay. So Charlie Spence ka date cancel ho gaya. Uh, what a pity, dear. Why have you? So now Mrs. Fitzgerald, who is the original mother, says, Why have you? Because if you know my mother has been going on at me making making me feel miserable and saying that he has got buck teeth and is half-witted. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Mrs. Fitzgerald, I'll manage my family. You manage yours, right? Uh, oh, now you are insulting the neighbor, George says. And now you are and now you are insulting the neighbor, he says. Uh, don't forget and don't you start crying again, Doris. Well, that's quite a decision. Uh, now listen, you two. I want to have a private little talk with Mrs. Fitz, uh, Mrs. with Mrs. Pearson. So I will be obliged if you... Uh, now, this is Mrs. Fitzgerald saying, okay, with Mrs. Pearson. So, I'll be obliged if you will leave us alone for a few minutes. I will let you know when we are finished. Go on, please. I promise that. So, her tone is still, you know, very polite in that sense. So, uh, they leave and say, we must change back now. We really must. Why? Because this has gone on far now. She thinks he could ho gay. Her family does not deserve to be treated like this. The original Mrs. Pearson says, well, Mrs. Pearson... The original Fitzgerald says, I will confuse you. A bit more of the same would them, do them really some good, making a great difference already. Well, I can't stand any more of it. I really can't. We must change back. Please. So, she uh, says the hymns and they change back. Okay. So, Mrs. Fitzgerald says, don't go soft on them again. Otherwise, it will be waste. Ho she says, I'll try not to. They have not had as long as I would like to have given them. Another ek do ghanta or rough treatment deti, to bilkul sahi chalta. So I'm sure they will do better now, though I don't know how I'm going to explain. She says, do not try to explain. Are pura pani pher dogi. Don't try to explain or don't try to apologize. Okay, Nito, the entire work will be uh, spoiled. So Ms. Fisgral says, Okay, it's right for you. After all, they aren't your husband and children. She says, now you listen to me. You admitted you were spoiling them, right? And they did not appreciate you. Tum nahi ka tha. Any apologies, any explanations, and you'll be going straight back to the same position. I'm warning you, dear, just give them a look, a tone of voice, and now again to suggest that you might be tough with them if you want it to be, and it ought to work. Anyway, we can test it. Well, what is it that you would like them to do that they don't do? Stop at home or for once? Well, give me a hand at supper. Mera khana banane mein haath bata de. Right. Anything you would like them to, that you would enjoy, whether they do it or not. A nice game of rummy. So, usko rummy khelna hai aur khana banane mein unki, uski madad karni hai. Right. So, she says, fine. You, um, uh, so, then she calls the three of them back to the room. The family looks anxiously at Mrs. Pearson who smiles. So, Dory says, yes, mother. Seeing that you don't want to go out, I'll tell you what I thought we would do. Uh, remember, Mrs. Fitzgerald, usko chabi de hai, remember. She says, uh, no objections, I hope. So I thought we would have a nice family game of Rami and then you children could get the supper ready while I have a talk with your father. Ki Doris or Cyril bet ke khana banai, hum Rami khele aur main tumhare father se baat karu. So, uh, yes, that's right. So she says, speak up. Yes, I think that would be lovely. So both Doris and Cyril agree to this. So Mrs. Pearson says goodbye Mrs. Fitzgerald. Come again soon. Yes dear night all. Have a nice time. The curtain falls. Samaj mein aya story? Please go through the question and answers. Uh, quite a few question and answers I have written. Kitne likhe hai? Pandra question and answers likhe hai, Including on the title of the play. About the theme of the play and the different aspects of the play. Kis tarah ke questions aap se pooche ja sakte hai? I hope it made sense and I hope you will be able to understand and enjoy and appreciate your mother also at home. 
Mother's Day cannot be just one day of the year, right? It has to be 365 days of the year, right? Thank you very much for watching.